Let's take a look at how you can use your keyboard to move around a document. This is much faster and much easier than using your mouse. Here I am at the top of a 29 page document and watch what you can do with your keyboard. You can not only move a little bit up, down, left, right like this. Working with your keyboard you can jump a word at a time. You can move down to the next paragraph or up to the paragraph above it. You can get down to the next page immediately or up to the page just above that. You can also get immediately to the end of a document even if it's 29 pages long, even if it's 300 pages long. Very quick. Here's how you do it. We're going to use the keys that are just to the right of the Enter key. These arrow keys we're also going to use the ones just above the arrow keys. These keys, the home key, the end key, page up and page down. And sometimes, to make them more powerful, we're going to use a key at the left-hand side of the keyboard, the control key, along with these. And here's how it works. The arrows left and arrow right will move you and arrow up, arrow down, will move you a little bit at a time. That's great uh, when you think, as some people do, that they have to grab the mouse to reposition all the time. Don't do that. Just use the arrow keys, and if it's a little bit of a movement, use left, right, up, down, arrow. If you want those keys to make a bigger jump, hold the control key down at the left-hand side of the keyboard, and again, that's this one, you hold the control key down and then tap your right arrow and look what's happening. It jumps a word at a time. If I press control arrow left, it jumps a word at a time to the left. If I press control arrow down, it jumps down to the next paragraph. Or control arrow up, jump up a paragraph at a time. Okay, let's look at the keys just above those. The home key, the end key, page up, and page down. And that's these guys. Page down will take you part of the way down, not all the way to the next page. Look where I've landed. I'm a little bit more than halfway down the page, and I've landed here. If I press page down again, it will take me about as much text as fits onto a screen. They call it one screen full at a time. And if I was zoomed so that things were smaller, it would take me to a different spot. Look, I'm almost at the next page, but not quite. If I press page down again, um, same story. It's taking me part of the way again and again. Now, if I add the control key, then it takes me all the way to the top of the next page when I press control page down or if I press control page up it takes me to the top of the page above where I am. The two keys that are next to page up and page down often don't get used at all. The end key will put the cursor right at the end of whatever line you're on. So here I am. If I want to immediately get out here without grabbing the mouse, I'll just tap the end key. If I want to get immediately to the beginning of that line, I'll tap the home key. So the end key is the end of the line. The home key is the beginning of the line. If I have a subtitle like this and I want to add some words at the end of it, I'll just tap the end key. Puts me there and I'll type whatever I need. If I decide I need a word or to delete something, anything to put at the beginning of the line, I'm going to tap the home key. It puts me right there. And I'll type in whatever I need. Now if I add the control key to those, once again we get a bigger jump. I'm going to hold down the control key. And then I'm going to tap end. 
it took me all the way to the end of a 29 page document. If I hold down control and I tap the home key, it takes me to the beginning of that document. Control end will take you to the very end, whether it's three pages or 300. The computer doesn't know how far it is. It just knows it's going till it can't go any further. And likewise, control home takes me to the top. One more thing to look at since we're using the keyboard. What if you want to go to a particular page and you don't have a three page or four page doc? Well, you know, I could do this. 15 times, for example, if I wanted to get to page 15. But there's a keyboard command that gives you a menu. It's the Go To command. I'm going to hold down the Control key, and then I'm going to tap letter G as in Go To. And I'll just type right here whatever page number I want to get to. I don't need to click there, don't need the mouse. I'm just going to type 15, if that's the page I want to go to, and now I'll press the Enter key once. And that took me right away to the top of page 15. Down here in the left-hand corner, it says I've come to page 15 of 29. If I want that menu to go away, I'll just tap the Escape key, and it's gone. Let's do it again. This time I'm going to go to page 25. Control G, I'll type 25 and I'll press enter. And it took me immediately to the top of page 25. Press the escape key and the menu goes away. And I'm going to go to page 9 the same way. Control G, type a 9, and press enter. And I'm there. Press the escape key and the menu goes away. So these are quick ways to move around your document. They work in just about any program. They also work, most of them, when you're navigating the internet or working with long emails. Use them. It's much easier than grabbing the mouse all the time. And I hope this is helpful. Take a look at our other videos and see what we can make easier for you.